static VAR compensators. What do we mean by static VAR compensator? To know that, uh, we actually have to study about, or we actually have to uh, consider both the both the different devices that we studied in the last class, that is thyristor switched reactor as well as thyristor switched capacitor. Thyristor switched or controlled reactor plus a thyristor switched capacitor. Uh, why? Because uh, when we are assigning uh, reactive power supporting devices, we have to look into all the possible kinds of scenarios that might arise relating to reactive power support. That is, there might be an excess of reactive power or there might be a deficiency of reactive power. So, in case of uh, an excess of reactive power, uh, rea uh, excess of reactive power, an inductive additional component comes in handy. Whereas, when we are having a deficiency of reactive power, what we will need is capacitor based components. So, in such situation, what we are left with or what we are supposed to do is, we have to combine the effects of both the reactor as well as the capacitor devices together so that we can predict or we can uh, make our device uh, operatable in most or almost all kinds of conditions that might arise or all kinds of scenarios that might arise in the power system operation. In this figure what is uh, given is a thyristor switched or thyristor controlled reactor which is coupled with a fixed capacitance. This capacitance is always within the circuit it cannot be switched on or it cannot be switched off. So. Um, the only controllable component that we have in this particular circuit is this inductive component. So when you are having an excess of reactive power within the circuit which arises in cases of low loads, what we can do is we can uh, increase the, we can use, control the switching of these thyristors and bring more of this inductive component into the circuit so that it consumes more of the excess reactive power. Whereas when you are having a deficiency of reactive power, we can switch this particular component this particular reactive component completely off and we can concentrate on the capacitive component which, uh, which which is already in the circuit and it will be supplying the required reactive power. Another possible scenario is you have a big enough or large enough uh, inductor th which is which is controlled by bidirectional thyristor devices and it's coupled with a series of or a set of uh, capacitor components which can also be either switched by means of such uh, thyristor based devices or they can be used uh, it can be made fixed or uh, it uh, depends so this particular uh, reactive component here uh, that is the thyristor controlled reactor this one would have uh, an extra controlling ability that is the thyristor switches would be uh, having uh, firing uh, would be given the firing angle such that it is based on what is the requirement of the reactive power within the so, uh, within the system and the firing angle is completely controllable whereas uh, these in these capacitor systems are uh, the firing angle is going to be a constant so the three capacitor components that you can see here they can be they are uh, basically thyristor switched capacitors they are not thyristor controlled capacitors they are thyristor switched capacitors and the reactive component here is a thyristor controlled reactor so uh, the total reactive current that is supplied by this particular component will be the current through the inductor minus the current through the capacitors minus the sum of the currents through the capacitors uh, based on how many capacitors are switched on. So the total current in this case may be IL minus IC3 minus IC2 minus IC1. If uh, IC2 and IC1 are off then the net current will be IL minus IC3 and uh, which when multiplied with the net system voltage will give you what is the reactive power output from this particular component. Such uh, this particular uh, combination of uh, thyristor switched capacitor as well as thyristor controlled reactors can be called as an SVC that is a static VAR compensator. The combination of uh, such devices it can be uh, a variety because it does not need to be this uh, TSC plus TCR itself it can be uh, just uh, a, a set of uh, fixed capacitors plus a set of uh, switched capacitors plus this controlled reactor or it can otherwise or uh, it depends on any any possible scenario could be there but the thing is mostly the uh, reactive component or the reactor is a single entity that is we only use one single reactor and we can use multiple number of capacitors